What is going on guys? Welcome one more time to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the FX3 and the FX30. Is it worth to buy the FX3 or should you just get an FX30? A while back Sony announced the Sony FX30 which is exactly what I'm recording on right now. So I bought it as soon as it came out. Uh, it was my first cinema camera and Soon after that, I bought the FX3 as well. I have seen so many videos of people saying, you only need the FX30, you don't need the FX3. It's just a uh, crop sensor, so you crop in 1.5 times and uh, to full frame, so you just need to compensate that with your focal length and uh, may not be as good in low light as a full frame maybe. So I bought it and I tried it. Listen, now I, I do a lot of commercial work for clients and I do a lot of church filmmaking. So I had my Sony FX30 and I said, hey, this is the perfect camera. This is a cinema camera. The video coming out of this thing is it, it's amazing. So why did I buy an FX3 if I already had the FX30? And I quickly realized that the dual base ISO of the FX30, it's not enough. A lot in a lot of our churches and in a lot of convention centers where we have events of our churches, we we don't have control over the lighting. More often than not, you're gonna find places where the altar or the platform is very well lit m most of the times. Not always, because I have definitely been in convention centers and churches that the lighting in the platform is not as good. So let's take uh, an example of my church here in New Life St. Louis and. Um, these are some of the pictures that I've taken in our church and yeah, let's put them on the screen. So we just came out of a remodel. Um, we also have new lights and the platform is lit differently than what it was before. And we had a transition time where we were trying to get used to now having new lights and different colors and all uh, and all that stuff because we also want to take care of people's skin tones. I, I said all that to say because I, I do a lot of reels and a lot of, I try to capture most of the worship experience and so other people can come to our church because what they saw on social media. My vision is try to get to document the worship experience the best we can. So when people go through our social media, then see what they're they'll they'll see what they'll find and if they come to our church. The crowd is not well lit because we don't we really don't need it. We don't need spotlights on, on people that are worshiping with their hands uh lifted up and their eyes closed we, we don't need that but i also also want to get good shots of that so i said all that to say that the fx3 has greater low light capabilities than the sony fx30 so now i'm recording on the fx30 right now um, so the fx30 has a dual base iso of 800 and 2500 what that means is that you have natural looking uh, images without any noise or any grain at 800 and 2500 if you go higher than that you risk going into uh, getting grainy footage so I thought this is a cinema camera it's gonna work wonders at church image quality is gonna be awesome and blah 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 so I go to church I take it to a conference that I was getting paid to record and most of the times it's it's okay uh, however uh, it was very dark and also very orange and yellow, but uh, we can fix that. Um, but it was very dark, the platform was dark, so, but I wanted to challenge myself and create all the content I needed to create with my brand new Sony FX30. This is my first thing in my camera, great, let's do it. Uh, that didn't go as expected because it, again, it was very dark and the dual base ISO of 2500 was not enough. I didn't make the decision to buy the FX3 purely on the low light capabilities, um, but the low light capabilities influenced a lot my purchase. So I bought the FX3 for the next conference or a camp meeting and it was awesome because the FX3 has dual base ISO of 800 and 12,800. It's a significant jump. So sometimes I even need to put an ND filter on with the dual base of 12,800 because it may be even too bright. So in 2023, uh, going into 
half the first half of the year and i've done a lot of client work a lot of uh, for restaurants commercial work for financial institutions and a lot of different churches i've done a lot of promo videos for um do i recommend the fx30 i guess it depends because if you are uh and it's similar to what i'm doing i wouldn't i wouldn't buy the fx30 however if you are going to have this on studio or for part of your live stream I will totally buy the FX30. Why? Because in the studio you have controlled lighting. You have a little more control of your lighting and you can be an 800 ISO and be perfectly fine because you have studio lights. Or if uh, for your live stream, most of the times our live stream is purely focused on the platform and what's happening there, that I would recommend the FX3 for. However, part on the creative team side of things. So if you're looking for, to do things for social media and get crowd shots and things like that, I wouldn't recommend the FX30. Like if it can do it, it can do it. And I'll put some cl clips on the screen that I've recorded with the FX30 um, and it looks good. It looks okay. So do you need to buy the Sony FX30 for your church or should you buy an FX3? Well, um, I will buy the FX3. In fact, um, I was asked at church what camera will I recommend so we can uh, change the current cameras that we have and I recommended two of them and I think this is what we're buying. The Sony a7 IV for photography and you can use this as a B cam because it has great, great, great 4K video and the FX3 as a main video camera for social media, for announcement videos, for anything and everything that you need video for, the FX3 is the way to go. I love my FX30 and like I would recommend it if you don't care about low light. If you wanna shoot outside or if you are shooting in a controlled lighting environment, go for it. The FX30 is a great bang for your buck. You get a lot of out of it, great video. In fact, I'm recording on the FX30 right now and I don't see a problem with it. So um, comment down below, what do you think? Would you buy the FX3 or the FX30 for your church or your business or uh, whatever it is that you do? So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.